Hello everyone, and I am your host, Melee Wizard, and welcome to Let's Play Beret. A neat little uh, platformy puzzle game made by uh, Nigel Kilmer. I believe I actually forgot what uh, his internet, na internet name is. I first was introduced to this game by a uh, YouTuber by the name of uh, Isocitration, and you know, I recent months, I was kind of reminded of this game somehow, and I decided to, you know, give it a go. It's a pretty, uh, pretty interesting thing here. Uh, yes, this is the map screen on which you can view a floor pan of the evil corporation, of which uh, Beret himself is a, mem is a member of. Or, who is apparently, oh well, there's a, there, we can get the story in a minute. Each level that you can access is shown as the level that you are closest to opening. Move the cursor over any level to view any information such as, as which medallions have been collected in the level or the number of medallions that are required for entry to that level. Click on a level to enter it. Yeah, so each stage has basically six objectives and I dare say it would be impossible to get all six in one, in one go. Five out of six, sure, but since one of them is an outright speedrun of the level, that one's probably not going to happen first time out unless you're actively going for it. So let's go into the story here. For many years, Beret was a researcher and experiment in the Department of Telekinetics at a large research company called the Evil Corporation. While studying telekinetics, Beret and his research assistants succeeded in granting Beret the power of telekinesis. Shortly after this, Beret became disgusted with the injustices committed in the name of scientific advance by his employers, the three evils of the evil corporation. Beret has decided to single-handedly destroy the entire corporation and defeat the three evils using his remarkable power, a quite daunting task due to the high security of the evil corporation. Each department is inaccessible to anyone without the proper clearance level, which is determined by the number of medallions owned by that person. Therefore, in order to reach the three evils who reside in extremely well-protected departments, Beret will need to collect as many medallions as possible in each department that he visits in order to gain access to the next. Despite his amazing power, Beret has a perilous journey ahead of him. Only by exhibiting great cunning as well as skill will be able to, he be able to accomplish his goal. So, uh, as I'll see the... Ah, oh, Kiwi Sauce! That was the guy... Uh, that's what the... Uh... That was his, uh, that's what his name was. Uh, for the controls, it's basically WASD. And you default running, you def run by default and can walk if you feel like it. Uh, safe state, low state. That'll come in handy if I have to, if it takes more than a video to get through a stage. Uh,. Save as F1, load as F4. Okay. Ah, oh, I, yeah, I can move the camera. And toggle full screen is nice because no matter what I did, I was not able to make the game load in windowed mode. It always loads in full screen. So, so with all that... Well and good, let's go head into the Department of Telekinetics. Alright, so it starts off with your usual tutorial fare. And so we've got six different uh, six different medallions here. I uh, don't remember which one's which up here in the HUD, but uh, one, there's just a medallion that's just sitting there waiting for you to pick up. One is... Uh, there's, like this one here, a medallion that's broke out into four pieces. Find all pe four pieces, and you get it. This one is a medallion that's been broken up into a hundred pieces, which, you see, there's a few of them right up here. Uh, this one is, I believe you have to kill all of the enemies across uh, in the entire level. This one is you have to get to the end in a certain time frame, which I'm already running out on. And this one is just for clearing the level itself. So... Okay, so... Save 
Italians. Oh, yeah, and there's the, uh, there's the thing here. So I can't really get to that right now. But this is where the telekinesis comes in, and this is the main mechanic of this game. So, and that's the reason why I have the cursor visible, because it's kind of required. And, okay, so turn G to, that's basically anything within this range of things is stuff that can be manipulated, but you are limited to line of sight. I don't think I, I don't think I can simply hold it there because I think my weight would take it out would uh, bring the block back down that and then grab all of these and if you it's not yeah you're not limited to just carrying the thing you can also just fling it away. There we go. So now... I gotta get up there to grab... Pick up those things. Because... I would rather get all the... All of the medallions, aside from the speedrunning one, first go. And there, oh, there's the, there's that one. Uh, let's see. Even with the power of telekinesis at your side, enemies can still be a large threat. Many enemies, such as robots, will be destroyed if they are smashed into a wall or object. You can also destroy enemies by smashing an object such, a block, such as a block into them. Yep, and... Momentum is your friend. Uh, so I can't, I don't think I can, no, I can't grab that. I think I can grab these, the, the blue shards, but as mentioned, line of sight. Let's see, clearing a room. You will obtain the red medallion once all the rooms of the, in the level have been cleared. So as I know, the red X means that there's still enemies here. And the first room, it was green because there were no enemies to be had. So, if you return to that room, the enemies will be back. The room, room will still be cleared. So you only have to do it once. There we go. Ah, but these things are transparent, which allows me to actually maintain line of sight. Which is nice. I'm mostly wondering if this one block is enough for me to grab that one medallion. Mm, no, I'm gonna have to grab a second one. Oh. There we go. I... I want to say the enemies can kill you on contact, but I think that... I believe that only sets you back to the start of the room. How much progress it saves in that room, I don't know. We'll have to find that out when, whenever that sort of thing happens. Uh, okay, so hopefully... Yeah! And just toss those things around. Yeah, momentum is a pretty big thing here. And no doubt these puzzles are going to get more uh, trickier and trickier as the thing goes on. That's kind of the whole point. Ah, and see the the blue sphere there means I picked up all the uh, blue shards in that given room. I didn't notice if I had already grabbed all the ones in the previous rooms. Uh. Fine. 
kind of nonsense do we have down this way? Hopefully, I won't have to bring any of those blocks back down here. Aha. Uh -huh. Save states. The state can be... F1 to save the current state of the room. The state can then be loaded at any time, even after dying, by pressing F4. Once you leave a room, you can no longer load save states created in that room. Aha. Uh -huh. I did not think that was actually going to hit. Alright, so go ahead and grab all these things. And that's all of them in this room. Good. And that's also all of the enemies in this room as well. Let's see. Restarting and leaving. If you need to restart a room for any reason... So, okay, R is basically restart the room. And in order to save your progress, you must reach the exit of the level. Yeah, that's an important thing. Let's see medallions, and there's the other other medallions. Hey, hello. Oh, there's some more enemies there. Once you leave a level through the exit door, all the medallions that you have collected in the level are added to your medallion collection. All other collectibles that you have gathered in the level will also be saved, and they will appear transparent the next time you play the level to indicate that they have already been collected. So, that's nice, and there is the exit. Might as well see what it says. I'm not ready to... Oh, hello. I'm not ready to leave the level yet. If nothing else, well, there's the red medallion. I still want to at least try and get the uh, the orange and the blues. Ah, I can pick that up. But I think it's probably faster if I just make myself staircase. Ooh, there's some more. Ooh, and, okay, so it doesn't have to be completely within the uh, sphere of influence here. So I worry about where that... where... It worries me that I only found two of the uh, of the orange ones. Ah. Unless oh, there it is. Still have to actually get it though. Well, great. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and refresh the room now. And deal with you, so I don't have to concern myself with you. I, I wanted to be fancy and just smash him with the block, but I it was just out of range. That's three. And that's what happens when you die. And it didn't save me picking up the thing. Good to know.
There we go. And now this little side room here. That really serves no purpose as far as actually getting to the exit. Next, only walls. Certain types of walls will only let specific types of things through. Beret only walls are blue and only let beret go through them. Object only walls are red and they let everything except beret through. First things first, go ahead and grab that. So that's the blue medallion gotten. Having uh, WASD with one hand and the mouse with the other is kind of tricky. Oh, and apparently right click also toggles the uh, the telekinesis range guide. So that is four medallions gotten. I'm about to get my fifth. And, oh, you just have to walk into it just to do that. All right. And that's five medallions gotten already, and I already have access to the, uh, the main division of the Department of Telekinetics. And I need six medallions to get to the experimental division. But I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get to the exit in about 50 seconds. As was previously shown, everything that you had already collected uh, is all and transparent, so that if you if you missed something the first time through a level, you're able to uh, go back through it, and you can just see what it is that you've done. Okay. And wow, so I have access to two more levels already, and I need four additional medallions to get to the defense division of the Department of Telekinetics. I don't know how big this game gets. It's been so long since I've seen seen uh, ISO Subtractions play through this. I who knows. But I guess join me next time when we head into the main division and see if maybe we'll see some more uh, tutorial stuff. Maybe just we'll be seeing more advanced things now that we've kind of gotten a grasp of what the game is asking of us. So, until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.